Steve Poland here, and I'm always looking for ways to make my hobby easier, especially in my fish room where I have a lot of tanks. And one thing that I've been thinking about lately is aquarium lids. So this is a standard 10 gallon tank here. So this is just a spare one I had laying around so I can show you what I'm talking about. On this, I have a regular lid, right? It's just the Aquion Versatop. They're, you see them all over the place. They're good, they're nice lids, they work really well. Um, no problems at all, right? If, especially if they're facing this direction. But my problem is that I have, and you may have seen that I did a video about this a couple months ago. I will link that below. I have a row of six of these now on top of one of my racks, except the difference is that they face this direction. So I've got them set up long ways, and that's fine. It was the most efficient way to maximize that space, which is great, but I made the mistake of getting these Versatops just like I normally do, but it's such a pain when I go and I feed my fish, or I wanna pull fish out, net them, I've got to try and grab all the way back here. I've got these sideways lids. It's almost impossible to do any work back here and through here. It's just a huge pain. So I started looking into what is the best way. You know, Aquan doesn't sell any lids that open this direction. I know some people in their fish rooms have them. I was trying to figure out what's the easiest and, of course, cheapest way that I can get some lids that open this way. And I came across a video that I thought was really cool, a good idea. I will link to that video below. It's a channel called Rich's Fishes, and he does a good job of explaining this, but I'm gonna show you how I did it, uh, kind of just very slightly differently from what he did. Um, so I'm gonna show you, but check out that video. It's down in the description of this video. I'm gonna show you now exactly what I did and kind of show you how I did it. So here is a lid that opens this way slides very easily. I can open it about half, almost halfway to get in here, catch fish from the front much easier, feed the fish this way. It's very nice. It's not beautiful. You know, this isn't a display tank. This is just, these 10 gallon tanks are in my fish room, so I don't really care, okay? So this is a solution that you can get all the parts you need except for the handle. You gotta order the handles. Um, if you want handles like this. But everything else you can just grab at Home Depot. So I'm gonna show you all the parts uh, that went into this. The first thing that you need is some glass. And I just grabbed some 10 by 12 sheets at Home Depot. These were about, with tax, 250 a piece, I think. And once you take this out, it's really straightforward. It's just a piece of glass, looks like this. Some adhesive on there from the packaging that you need to get off, but no big deal. Um, it is 330 seconds thickness, which is just shy of an eighth, and it's very close to the thickness of the Versatops. Close enough. This, it's sturdy enough with what, you're, what you'll be doing with it uh, that it works just fine. And what you want to do is take this glass, take a Sharpie, mark it. With this, I had to cut a half an inch off the side to get it to fit because the tank, unfortunately, 10 inches will not fit in there, but this was the closest piece of glass that I could buy. The alternative would be going and getting custom glass from a custom glass shop, unless you can find nine and a half by roughly 12 pieces of glass somewhere, which, you know, for 250, which I wasn't willing to put the time into trying to figure out. So again, trying to do this uh, easy, but also inexpensively. The other thing you need is just a glass cutter. Okay, it looks like this. It's got a little wheel on it that you use to score the glass. It's real easy. You just score down the side, you know, use some type of a, an edge, okay? You just measure a half inch, score it right down the side. Very easy. And when you break off that piece, you might wanna wear gloves, but you're just gonna be left with a nice little extra piece of glass here. And this piece that's exactly the size that you need. The other thing that you can get at Home Depot is called outside corner molding, okay? This is the stuff that the two pieces of glass ride in. It makes it real easy to slide them. The profile of this looks just like this, okay? And it sits in here this way. So you've got one piece, your stationary piece sits within this little groove, and then this piece that slides just slides on the top. Nice and easy. And this stuff, again, at Home Depot, I'll put a link in the description to exactly what I bought. All right, uh, this was not expensive at all either. And then the last thing that you'll need is just the handle. Like I said, I ordered these, I got them off of eBay, uh, that's where I found them cheapest. You might find them on Amazon cheaper. 
These are not the official, you know, Aquion ones. Um, these are, I don't even know, there's some off-brand, doesn't matter. They come with a little adhesive on the bottom, just like the Versatops, any other aquarium top, you just stick it on there. Works really nice. This is sufficient quality for me. They were, like I said, very cheap. Uh, probably less than a couple bucks each, which seems ridiculous for what they are, but it's really nice to just be able to grab it, no problems. You could probably stick something else on there that would work just as well if you want to, but I just like having these, they're really easy. So then once you've got all your pieces, you just set these in here. Set the lid on top, and you're good to go. Very easy solution for these sideways tanks. So if you've got a better idea, let me know what it is down in the comments. Always looking for feedback, really appreciate it. If you are new here to this channel, as always, I would love to have you subscribe. We have new videos for you each week. Until next time, have a good one, everybody.